Hello everyone, this is Anishu and in this video we will explore how to control an Arduino based rover using a graphical user interface or GUI and Bluetooth. The GUI provides a user friendly interface for sending commands to the rover wirelessly. So how to create the GUI? Uh, direct, let's directly jump into the codes itself. The code for the GUI is made using Python uh, programming language. So let's start with explanation of the code. First of all, uh, we will uh, import the required libraries including the tkinter for creating the GUI, time for managing the button press duration, serial for establishing a connection with the Arduino, and PIL for handling the images. We establish a serial co connection with the Arduino using the appropriate COM port and baud rate. After that, uh, we create the GUI window using tkinter. Uh, we set the title, background color, and uh, size of the window based on the screen resolution. Uh, to enhance the visual appeal of the GUI. Then we will create the labels uh, for the title and a custom message for, to provide more information about the application. These labels are styled uh, uh, with the desired font, uh, color and background. After that, we create the send command function to send the commands uh, to the Arduino. Uh, the function takes the desired direction and delay as parameters and uh, sends the command to the Arduino uh, through the serial connection. Now we will be creating the buttons uh, to co uh, control the rover. We have buttons for forward, backward, left, right and stop uh, and also revert command. Uh, we use lambda functions to pass the desired direction and duration to the handle, uh, handle button press duration function uh, when the button is pressed. Uh, after that, uh, we include a scale widget uh, to adjust the speed of the rover. Uh, also, uh, the function update speed is called whenever the scale value changes. It uh, updates the current speed variable and sends the updated speed to the Arduino. Additionally, I have provided an option for custom button press by uh, specifying the runtime and the duration of the run. And the handle custom uh, button press function retrieves the user entered values and validates them and then sends the custom command to the Arduino. In case you want to retrieve the rover operations, uh, we have the revert button. When it is pressed, it sends a quit command to the Arduino and sets the speed scale to zero to stop the rover. Finally, we define the on closing function to handle the event when the GUI window is closed. It ensures that the rover operations are reverted, the serial connection is closed and the window is destroyed. Uh, with this, the code for the GUI is completed. Now let's begin the code explanation for the Arduino rover and that is the backend code. The code is made using C++ language unlike the code for the GUI which is made using the Python language. The code basically starts with including the necessary libraries, the wire.h for I2C communication and liquid crystal uh, underscore I2C.h for controlling the LCD display. Several variables are declared uh, to represent the motor pins, the speed pins and the necessary variables. The setup function is then called uh, once at the beginning of the program. It initializes the serial communication, uh, sets the pins, uh, pin modes uh, for motor and speed control uh, pins, uh, initializes the display and sets the initial uh, speed to zero. It also clears the display. After that, in the loop function, uh, it checks if there, uh, if there is any data available from the serial communication, that is the Bluetooth. Uh, if the data is available, the, codes clear, the code clears the LCD display and starts reading the input from the Bluetooth module. It reads the input until there is no more data available. The input command is split into com uh, command and delay or speed uh, parts using the space character as a delimiter. Depending on the command received, the code performs different actions. If the command received is F uh, or forward, it displays the command and the speed in, on the LCD and moves the rover forward and waits for uh, for the specified delay uh, and then stops the rover. Similarly, it, uh, it, it performs the same thing uh, when the command uh, right is pressed or left or backward and so on. If the command received is speed, it sets the speed of the rover based on the delay or speed uh, variable value received from the Bluetooth communication. If the command is quit, then it clears the LCD display again and performs the setup uh, and reverse the, in, reverse the rover to the initial state. The code defines several helper functions such as the forward, uh, stop, backward, left and right functions. Uh, these functions control the motor pins to achieve the corresponding rover movements. The explanation for the backend code is also complete. The codes that I have explained previously in the video is also available in the uh, GitHub link given below. You can go check it out after finishing the video. Finally, it is time for the demo. I hope you enjoy it.